Well, hello there, my favorite gaming equestrians. Hope all is well with you this week. I'm here on our brand new Arabian Royal Escape that we bought last time in front of Silverglade Castle because I believe Linda has another quest for us. I don't know if it's a whole big event like last time, but it's something. So I'm interested to see what it is. Hello, Linda. How can we help you today? Once again, thank you for helping me out of the castle. Unfortunately, I have a lot to do now that I've been away for so long. But as you know, there's always a lot to do around here. You'll notice the small adventures pop up all the time, so we'll meet later and do something. Do you want to hear something exciting? Always? Always, always. I've heard that one of Carney's brothers started building a new show jumping track outside Silverglade Village. You should ride over there and have a look. I would love to join you, but I don't have time. The track is on the field to the west of the village, between the vineyard and Silverglade Village. Look, I got a text from Thomas Borland. He wants to talk to you. Have a lovely day, Nova. See you later. Ooh, okay. Where should we begin? Well, since we're already in Silverglade, let's swing by Marley's farm and see what's up. Here we are at Marley's. He does have a quest for us. What's going on, my friend? Hello, I'm Marley. I'm so happy that someone came by. You see, I have some problems, but maybe you can help me? Here's the thing. I ordered this fantastic paddock at jbay.com. Isn't it amazing? Anyway, it seems that you need all kinds of papers, documents, and permissions when you build something like this. Who would have known? So, I wonder if you can ride to Silverglade Village and talk to someone in the council and ask if they can write the papers I need. Without them, I don't dare continue building this wonderful track I have planned. Ooh, well, we love tracks, so we will investigate. Ooh! What is this? <gasps> the more experienced riders in Yorvik take pride in their navigational abilities. You have progressed so far in Star Stable now that it's time to remove the training wheels. From now on, you will have to be more cunning and observant when you're on a quest. You will no longer see items and people that you need on the map. But all information you need is still available in the quest log. Open it by clicking the book icon in the horseshoe menu or press L on the keyboard. Don't forget that you can ask your friends and other riders for help in the chat. Good luck and happy riding in your future adventures in Yorvik. Oh boy. <laughs> that means we have progressed so far in the game that they're not going to give us our helpful little hints on the map anymore. Which is, you know, kind of a bummer. But... <laughs> I guess we are experienced enough now where we don't need that. We don't need it. We don't need help. It's all right. We'll begin this adventure with our head held high and not miss those orange blobs on the map, even if we really do. All right, let's go talk to the councilman about Marley's paperwork. Good day to you, councilman. Good day. Oops. A new paddock? Not my area of expertise. Sorry, you need to see my colleague, Mr. Bucket. Unfortunately, he isn't here right now. Where is he? If you really need these documents right now, I think it's best if you try to meet Mr. Bucket at once. He's been away for a couple of days now, trying to find evidence that the construction workers at the North Link are using illegal means to build the tunnel. Ride to the tunnel construction site at the North Link, north of Everwyn Fields, if you want to find him. I'm sure he stands on top of a hill so he can see everything that's going on. Follow the road going north from the village. Mr. Bucket. Okay. Let's go in search of Mr. Bucket. Here we are, north of Everwyn Fields at the construction site. Uh, there's a little path here, so I'm guessing this is the way we need to go. Oh, there's a gentleman with a green exclamation point. Right up here. Are you Mr. Bucket? Shh, try to be quiet. I'm sorry. Permission to build a paddock? Yes, well, that's not very important right now. I suspect that the workers down there are using GEDO gel. A very hazardous industrial adhesive to seal the walls in the tunnel. I have an idea. If you could find proof that I'm right, I'll give you those documents right away. Away you go! Look among the containers below the hill. I think they're hiding the package there. Oh, good day, sir. Not doing anything fishy. Nothing fishy. Oh. Let's search this container. Anything? Nah. It'd be too easy if it was in the first container. I think this is the last container. <laughs> oh, no, there are more. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Well, not good. Now it's the last container. There better be gel in here. Okay, good. <laughs> Suspicions confirmed. G-E-D-O. Gel in use. 
I knew it. Those insidious crooks are using prohibited substances to be able to build faster. If it leaks out into nature, it can pollute everything around here for hundreds of years. But I'll teach them a lesson, you'll see. This will delay their construction by a day or two before their army of lawyers find new loopholes in the contract. Oh, here are the documents you needed. I wrote them while you were away. Good job, by the way. If I didn't mention it earlier. Ride carefully on your way back to Marley. Thank you, Mr. Pocket. Good luck on your crusade against GED. Paper secured. Fine, sir. You would not believe what GED is up to, though. Mm. Really, Nova? That was fast. Thanks a lot, but I have more problems. I have to think this over. Come back later so we can talk some more. You'll never believe me when I tell you this. You need a permission if you want to arrange competitions. Can you help me with this? Ride to the vineyard and see if you could find my brother, Carney. He's a licensed equestrian competition inspector and can help me with this. Ask him to come over right away and approve my paddock. That is quite the title. Carney, old buddy, your brother has a request. Oh yeah, I'm a licensed equestrian competition inspector. Marley said that I should go over to him and approve a paddock. Hmm. You don't talk like that to your older brother. I'll come when I have time. Right now, I have to do some very important things. What a meanie. Looks like he's just kind of standing there. I don't know what important things he's talking about. Checking in with a Sophia in Moreland from Bobcat Girls. Hey, I never found time to introduce myself, but I saw you at Tan's party. My name's Sophia, and you're Nova, right? I talked to Tan and Loretta. They both agreed with me that you should be allowed to try our new all-terrain track as a thank you for all your help with the party. Since you got an awesome helmet from Loretta and got to come to our exclusive party, I think you should feel pretty honored. Oh, well, all right, let's do a race on our beautiful Arabian. Is this the same one? It's got to be different, right? Oh, there it is different. Look, there's hay bales. Oh, gosh. Okay. We can take a peek at our horse, too. He's just so lithe. Look at that. He's so fast. <laughs> I think I say that about all the horses. <gasps> Jump! I just keep trying to look at the horse instead of paying attention to the track. I'm so bad with that. <laughs> oh, I almost missed that turn. He just makes the races look so easy. <laughs> I think this horse is a great fit for Nova. Wow, you're pretty good. Not as amazing as me, of course, but duh. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Just say if you want to try again, because this track is perfect for all-terrain training. Thanks, Sophia. Much appreciated. It looks like it opened up some more quests with Tan and Loretta, which I would like to do so we can get some stuff from their stall. Hey, Tan. Hey, Nova. Thanks for the party. Loretta told me you helped out. It was amazing. It was pretty bad timing, though. We're going to have a competition against another club soon, and it's really important we win. Oh yeah, like when I say we, I don't mean you, no offense. <laughs> it's not like you're not a bobcat, but you're only a novice. Yeah, like, don't take it the wrong way or anything. Sure, you're a bobcat, and sure, you got to come to the party, but you're still just a little amateur. Plus, you're not as cool or as... Okay, why is she being so mean to us? I totally like you, though. You're, like, nice and stuff. If you carry on helping me and the others like you do, you might get to climb up the ladder someday. Maybe you'll even get to be a club champion. <laughs> anyway, back to reality. I need some help taking photos of the route the racetrack takes for one of the competitions we'll be riding in. Uh, we, not you. Yeah, so we're going to use the pictures to check out the course and see which parts are the hardest so that we could do extra training on those bits. Want to help me with that? Sweet. Thanks for helping. Even though you're kind of mean to me. All right, where's the track? At least there's a little blip on our map this time because I'm not sure I would know where to go. She didn't mention it. 
Oh, use camera. I wonder if we can be on our horse. Yes. Okay, good. Ooh. This is like when we took photos of tourists, of tourist spots for James. Oops, camera, <laughs> not the picture. Nice, very nice. She should sell postcards like James does. She'll make some extra cash. Mm, lackluster, but good to keep an eye on these walls so you don't hit them while you're racing. Oh, this is a tricky tight spot too. Hey guys. All right, one more photo. One more photo. The finish line. That tricky area known as the finish. All done. Are these the pictures? They're perfect. My thoughts about you aren't totally wrong. You belong here in the Bobcats. Hmm. Thanks. Thanks, Tan. How about you, Loretta? A new girl at the stable. Hey, did you hear? I'm like dying here. Totes don't understand what someone like that is even doing here. Believe me, she is not a bobcat. Like, she's got no style. And as if that's not enough, she's like totally worse than you when you got here. Ha! <laughs> what a noob! <laughs> you don't know what, what I'm talking about? Seriously? You haven't heard? There's this new girl visiting the stable. Thomas Moreland even asked Julie to lend her horse to her. Honestly, she's she'll never get to ride my horse so she can forget it. But hey, if she's here to stay, I want to know more about her. You need to get the lowdown on her to see if she'll make for a good bobcat or not. Why I can't do it? Um, really? You're the funniest. Of course I can't talk to her. I need to make sure she's worth my time first. Listen, just ask the other bobcats and see if they've heard anything, okay? Okay. Hello, ladies. Have you heard anything? Mm -hmm. Is it that blonde girl? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Hmm, her. Yeah, she seems like a snob. <laughs> I don't know who they're referring to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she seems like a snob. Oh, let's check with Sophie. Oh, Sophia. <laughs> it's that blonde girl, right? They weren't much help, Loretta. What? Seriously? They must know more than I do. Wow, talk about out of touch. Seems like it. Um, what? You think we should say hello to her? I've obviously got more important things to do than to take care of some loser noob. You've got a point, though. Thomas would probably want us to show her around and look after her a bit, which is why it would be perfect if you did it. Thomas said that she could borrow Julie's horse, Firewind, so take her out riding or something. Oh yeah, Nova, you probably don't want to mention any of this to Julie. Julie, she's got a lot on her plate right now, and what she doesn't know won't hurt her. If I know her like I think I do... She won't be too happy about some newbie getting to ride Firewind. Um, hello, what are you waiting for? Go say hello to the loser noob now. Uh, I'm sorry. Where is she? Aha. Uh -huh. There she is, hanging out by the stable. Mandy. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just standing here. Oh, uh, by the way, why should I have anything to be worried about? It it's you who's doing all the sneaking around. Have you got nothing better to do than to spy on me? Not that there'd be any reason to spy on me. No reason at all. Uh-oh. Oh, now look, since you scared me so much, I dropped my bag and all my stuff has fallen out. Oh, man, she sounds like she'll fit in with the bobcat girls perfectly. It's all your fault. Maybe you want to try helping the new girl pick up her stuff? Sure, I guess. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, sorry I snapped at you like that. My bad. Um, I'm sorry I get so angry like that. I, I didn't mean to. It's just that you really made me jump. It was mean of me. Sorry again. Want to start over? Alright. Alright. She seems legit 
Sorry that this happened. My name's Mandy, and you? Nova? Is that even a real name? Oh, no. <laughs> hmm, she sounds familiar. I mean, uh, how lovely. Nice to meet you. Have you been here in Moreland long? This is my first time here, so I suppose it remains to be seen if I'll have more visits in the future. You're the girl Mr. Moreland said would show me around? Oh, well, that's nice of you, and I'd love to come out with you for a ride. I wasn't able to bring my own horse with me this time, but Mr. Moreland said I could borrow a horse called Firewind? Oh, another thing. I'm afraid I left my saddle and bridle at home. I've got, like, all this awesome gear. Like, the best ever quality. But there was so much other stuff I needed to bring with me that I totally forgot my gear. Could you help me find some that I could borrow just this one time? I guess. Sure. That's what we do here, horses. Here you are, Madam Mendy. You're sure I can borrow these? Nobody will mind. Thanks. Okay, my friends, we are going to end our joyous adventure with Mandy here for now. We will check back with her next time and continue the Bobcat Girls quest. <laughs> so, in other news, Z Voss uh, acquired a Shire named Applecake, who is already level 5. Congratulations on your Shire, one of my favorite horses in the game, and one of the most popular. Stacy, along with a few others, <laughs> mentioned um, from a previous video, I had to leave Porridge out for the elves, and it very much perplexed me why we were leaving Porridge out for elves. I wasn't quite sure. So they've been trying to fill me in on the tradition, and apparently there's a translation, there's a weird translation between elves and the, the actual name for the creature <laughs> that we're leaving the Porridge out for. And uh, Stacy explained it's closer to um, house Santas, like little little Santas. A few people mentioned that. It's more like little Santas <laughs> that, are, that are there to protect uh, your farm and your animals, but they're a little mischievous. So leaving the porridge out, which is a more popular dish in Europe than it is in the U.S., um, keeps them happy. So they'll continue to take care of your animals uh, and not perform naughty tricks. <laughs> It's all very fascinating. I'm hoping to look up some more information about it and learn about some traditions from all over the world. Really cool. So thank you guys for tuning in and spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. Royal Escape really appreciates it. <laughs> and I'm hoping to do some training with him today to level him up a little bit more. And we reached level 11. Yay! Doing so well. We are killing it. We are going so fast through these quests. It's awesome. <laughs> so thank you for joining in. Have fun, be kind to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye!